Are you looking for the 5 best compact camera? In this video, we will look at some of the best compact camera on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description for each product mentioned, so make sure you check those out to see which is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Sony RX107. The RX107 is still the greatest compact available right now in many aspects. We discovered that its focusing mechanism comfortably outperforms that of any other pocket camera, reliably following moving objects and cleverly utilizing its face and IF, even in video mode. Both the picture and video quality are outstanding. But all of this comes with a hefty price tag, which may be a deal breaker for many. Nevertheless, because it's one of the better solutions available, we can't help but include it in our guide. There isn't a more potent compact than the Mark 7, if your money permits. Check considering the RX106, which gives the majority of its performance for a little less money, assuming you're willing to give up some of the most recent autofocus capabilities and a microphone connection. At number 2. Fujifilm Shone 100V. The Fujifilm Shone 100V solves all of the flaws in what was already a unique camera, making it the ideal compact for the smartphone era. The same basic ideas apply. A chic, pocket-sized design, a large APSC sensor, a distinctive hybrid viewfinder, and a fixed 23mm f slash to lens. But the Shone 100 volts, which adds a new tilting screen and enhanced focusing performance, has now improved all those areas. Testing has shown that the picture quality has significantly increased, in part because of a new lens design, and the low-light performance has also improved. One of our biggest issues with the Shone 100 Farads was how soft its pictures at f 2 tended to be. Additionally, it supports 4K 30P video capture and has a hybrid viewfinder with a better resolution that is both optical and electronic. If you do happen to see a Fujifilm shown 100 volts in a store, it could be worth buying it as it's popular in 2023 and almost always out of stock. At number 3. Sony's V1. The Sony's V1 is the ideal choice if you're searching primarily for video from a tiny camera rather than still images. Although it has the same sensor and CPU as Sony's most recent RX100 series cameras, the V1's primary strength is its video capabilities. That is not to say that it isn't also highly adept at taking still photographs. Included in this are its industry-best focusing capabilities, which enable it to tenaciously latch onto people and moving objects in your picture. In our testing, we discovered that it did a fantastic job at maintaining moving things in focus and following our eyes throughout the majority of the frame. Although it doesn't have as much reach as the RX107, it's brilliant 24-70mm f-1-2 ensures that you get nice background blur in both stills and films, which is ideal if you mostly take portraits or vlogs. At number 4. Ricoh GREX. The GREX, the most recent in a long series of covert Ricoh cameras, adheres to a tried and true formula. A large APSC sensor and sharp, fixed focal length lens and a tiny, straightforward body. The GREX offers exceptional pocket ability, quick reactivity, and intuitive handling, much like its predecessors. The focal length is different from the normal GR3 since it is 40mm rather than 28mm. Not everyone will like how this restricts adaptability, but many people will appreciate the creative discipline it demands. But because of its simple UI and customization choices, we also discovered that it was a delight to use and photograph with. You can get more functionality for your money elsewhere since the GREX is a specialized tiny camera. But if you want a straightforward shooting tool, we still believe it to be an appealing option. At number 5, Panasonic Lumix ZS100. This is the tiny camera we'd choose if you're searching for a budget-friendly, versatile all-arounder with a viewfinder. It has since been replaced by the ZS200-TZ200, which is also a good option to consider. However, if you don't need the slightly longer zoom 15x as opposed to 10x, and higher resolution viewfinder of the newer model, you may save money by choosing this more established type. 
these ES100-TZ100 will serve you well and provide a more delightful photography experience than any glass lab if you're trying to acquire high-quality photographs with less baked-in processing. A fixed touch screen and a tiny, low-resolution viewfinder are disadvantages. These are signs of an outdated camera, although a tiny EVF is still preferable than having none when shooting in bright light. In addition, this camera has built-in Wi-Fi, 10 FPS burst shooting, and 4K video recording. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you like this video. If this video was helpful to you, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions related to this product, you can leave a comment down below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible.